This portion of the live stream brought to you by Maria's Nostrils. Chem dog, we're smoking some roaches. Per usual. About to be re re rolled. Sound been re rolled. Jeffrey, what's up? Re re roll, Chris. Yeah, we already smoked the green, rolled those roaches, smoked them again. Now we're about to roll those roaches and smoke them again. So those are re-re-rolls. What's You know, I fucking Googled today or last night or something. We was in our group chat we got uh, and uh, we was talking and uh, we was talking dirty like we always are, you know, and like I always am anyway. And uh, something fucking made David Allen Coe pop into my head. Three Biggest Lies. Some of y'all might know that song, Three Biggest Lies. And uh, so I Googled it because I knew it wasn't on YouTube no more, right? So I Googled the shit and it took me to fucking YouTube and there was the song and right below it was the entire fucking album, fucking David Allen Coe, X-Rated Hits, that I could have swore they took off YouTube years ago because I, I, I couldn't find it for the longest time. Now it's all back. Got some Linda. Linda. I don't know Linda. Does Linda know you got some Linda? I know Layla. And Leia. Linda Ronstadt. Uh, Linda Carter. Um, Linda Lovelace. I'm the only motherfucker in the world to make Linda Lovelace gay. No, I ain't in the tub tonight. I'm I'm in bed day. Close enough, I guess. I do have shorts on. I ain't got nothing on my face. Or my rest of my body, or my head, <coughs> but my genitals and my anus are covered. Chris said, "There's a Linda Dobson." No shit. I know. I seen a. I found a Fifi Dobson. I guess she's she's making it kind of big as a singer. a singer. Yeah, there's a Fifi Dobson. There's a Doctor James Dobson. That might be my long lost uncle. <coughs> I'd hit him up for some money, huh? Hey, what's up, Unc? You spare a hundred grand by any chance? Get me out of this shithole. Linda is on YouTube. Oh. Linda Dobson on YouTube. That makes sense, man, because I'll tell you what. When I went to fucking, when I go to use names on here and Facebook and shit, man, I find a lot of fucking people with my last name that I didn't know existed. It's definitely not a common common last name, you know what I mean? Rhino, what's up? You smoking cucumber? Hell yeah. Seems kind of gay, but teach their own. <laughs> but it smells good. You know I'm fucking with you, Ronnie. You know I love you, brother. You want to smoke a cucumber, you smoke a cucumber all you want. I'm not going to judge you. I still love you. 
<laughs> we don't judge here. <clears throat> Now, I tell Polar Bear and Rover Warrior all the time, sometimes you got to smoke a cucumber to know if you don't like smoking cucumbers. Oh, and this dude that I've been sharing his videos, y'all, on my community post, uh, Playboy the Beast. His song was like, <laughs> his song had made it to the fucking top up in like top 10 on the fucking iTunes and the SL SPLU or whatever the fuck it is fucking flagged his song for, um, some bullshit about, uh, something about guns that were never something about video. guns that wasn't even in the video. There was absolutely no guns in the vid video. He's a felon. He's not allowed to have a gun. He's not going to put a fucking show himself with holding the gun and fuck video. And they said, uh, uh, hate or a violent something fucking like basically saying he's part of a fucking gang and uh he put a big post out today uh asking all his fans you know if anybody knows a really good fucking lawyer uh the, we've had enough of this shit we don't do nothing but fucking good for the community we don't do we don't fucking do any kind of violence unless someone attacks us self-defense only you know it's just bullshit it's called a uh, proud Proud boy, yeah, proud boy, yeah, because he's got that tattooed on his forehead, and they fucking uh, they flagged his video and took it down when he was climbing the charts, and he said, "No, nah, he ain't gonna take his bullshit anymore." Randall said he was calling y'all cucumber smokers, but you got him. Ha <laughs> ha! Smoking them cucumbers. We're even gonna smoke a cucumber here in a little bit. That was it. Fuck's that got to do with anything? Not a damn thing. Cause that was then, and later's later. Mm -hmm. So, I was gonna try to figure out my fucking uh, Twitch. Too, I got the laptop out here, and I got the phone set on the laptop like I set it up in the in the other room on the desk. But the uh, computer apparently had to update, and this thing's like older than the first Jurassic Park, so it's a little slow. Slow at everything. Everything. Nine beautiful people up in this motherfucker. What's up, y'all? But yeah, I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Uh, you know, with the uh, what they were doing to, to my to my rapper dude, Playboy the Beast. That's some bullshit. And uh, all my wrestling fans, hope y'all's ready because uh, I think some big shit's about to happen this weekend. It's WrestleMania, and. Uh, Monday, it's going to be 72 degrees. It's going to be absolutely fucking perfect. And I'm hoping to come up with the money. Or if Polar Bear ain't doing nothing Monday or whatever. But even if Polar Bear is able and wants to go fishing, I still don't want him to fucking have to pay for the whole fucking trip. I want to have something to help him out. But if he's not available or he's not able or he doesn't want to go, then. I would have to call a cab and then just the cab ride there and back alone is 50 bucks. So 25 there, 25 back. Other than that, fuck y'all want to talk about. Laptop stopped on this fucking. It's got some. Oh, never mind. There it goes. I was about to start reading you all the fucking words and the fucking codes that were sitting there because it was just Polar stuck. Bear said something about bowling. And it took off. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. Yep. I do. Yep. I knew that. I knew that shit. Polar Bear Bowls on Mondays, y'all. So if I go Monday, I'm going to have to uh, come up with cab money. 
And I'm not going with just cab money and fucking a little bit, you know, night crawlers and fucking cart. If I get Deer Creek, I want minnows. I know I'm a greedy bastard, but it's just the way it is. Too many crappie and perch and fucking saw guy in the, and white bass and sheephead in that in that fucking water to not get minnows when you get down there. It just doesn't make sense. Know what I mean? Bud Files, what's up? Road Warrior, what's up? Polar Bear, what's up? If I missed anybody else with it, here's a what's up? That's the cover for now. Pick a body, what's up? But files, I think that uh, that Pony Express might have been it's 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 might be my favorite video I've seen y'all's yet. It's least top three. Hey, I, I think love, it's I loved it that it had had the eighties and nineties version of My Little Pony. On oh, this showed My Little Ponies, Mister yeah. Ed, fucking yeah. all kinds of shit. My phone only works upstairs. Yeah, imagine. No Wi-Fi in the basement. That's just fucking crazy. <coughs> and Mr. Road Warrior, he's uh he's been having issues with his Xbox for a while. So he was trying to get it going yesterday, trying to figure out why it wouldn't connect to the fucking Wi-Fi. And uh he restarted the router box and didn't do anything. And then I'm not really sure what happened after that, but I told him to unplug it and plug it back in. And when he did that, I guess uh, that, that that was all she wrote. They didn't have no Wi-Fi after that. I, yeah, not ex exactly sure what went down there, but yeah, I told him <laughs> I told him to unplug it, like our like everybody else's router box. Cause, uh, but it might be a different type of router box. Hell, I don't fucking know. But yeah, I told him to unplug it for sixty seconds, plug it back in. Uh, next message we got from him is, "Well, the router's fucked. We don't have any." wi-fi at all and uh so they won't have another router box till tomorrow so he can't do much until then there won't be no screen sharing tonight unless uh one of the other uh regulars you know just happen to stumble across the seven eight thousand dollar computer or so and they're able to come up and do it <laughs> road warrior keeps telling me i need one of those i said yep that costs money, 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 money. Right now, Willie only needs money to go fishing. He just wants to go fishing, man. I'll worry about something fucking game and shit on come wintertime again. I'd really love to have a fucking laptop by this winter, though, to start our reaction back up. I'm not going to lie. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> oh fuck! I'm still gonna have to fuck. Probably, maybe. Breathe, fat boy. Breathe. <coughs> and he's supposed to be paying for half of it anyway, Red Warrior. You shouldn't have to pay for all that. Yeah, is he paying for half of it or are you paying for the whole thing? Are they saying you, you blew it up by unplugging it or something? My dumb ass stuck on TikTok. What do you mean you stuck on TikTok? You can't get off of it? <laughs> stuck in a moment you can't get out of? It. One of the very, very few songs I like by you two. What's up? What's up? Having fun? Oh, yeah. Whoa, Ben. What's up? <laughs> yeah, and dude, you're going to be lucky if you get to watch SmackDown tomorrow. Um, and because every time there's a, it's a SmackDown right before a pay-per-view, 
it loads late as fuck the next day, and we never get to see it before the pay-per-view happens. That's why I watched it on TV. Okay. But you could get lucky. You could get lucky, but I don't know. But the NXT stand and, deli stand and deliver, which is the NXT fucking pay-per-view, it starts at noon, also on Peacock. And then when it goes off, it will go to the fucking WrestleMania pre-show. And then WrestleMania Saturday will start. Damn. Like I said, I can watch I, I can watch it on um Yeah, as long as it's I, uploaded. I, I, I can I, I can watch um uh some WrestleMania on um Peacock on my phone. Right. I hate every bit of it, but hey, what can you do? And the router goes on the fritz and you know. So. Yep. -er. So, how's everybody else doing? Besides, you know. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, Chris. What's up? Oh. Yeah. But anyway, um, about this router though, it's gonna be better. Um, it's gonna be better than my previous one. So I guess that's gonna be. Well, what you do? Get mad and piss on it, or what? No, all everything you said um that that you um that uh well, you hit the reset you button right first. I remember you reset you so you restarted it first or at least yeah. hit the reset button. And the power then you, button. You, you, then you unplugged the power. Yeah. And well, did you just unplug it from the wall? Yeah, well where where the um where the outlet is for it, yeah. Okay. And then you waited like a minute and then plugged it back in? Yep. And then and it, it decided to, but you know, it, um, it, it was coming up to be four years old. So they recommend that you, um, that you change your well, router. They, for every, well, they want you every, to buy a new car every fucking year too. That's how they make money. Man. But just anyway, just quit like that. So anyway, um, this router, this router that we got now is going to be a quad quad, uh, band. And um, where my previous one is a tri band. Now it doesn't probably doesn't um, make uh, you're probably confused. What I'm saying is, it's just that the quad band is. Well, I know it's saying, yeah, so it's supposed to be four times the wet bandwidth instead of three times the bandwidth. Yep, and it's supposed yeah. to be good good for gaming. I'm not so. completely with fucking with thought. It just just really really close. <laughs> <laughs> just want to make sure yeah i'm not full i'm not full tard i'm just like 68 percent tard see anybody gonna watch the eclipse is that oh that's not happening until what monday oh, fuck i don't know what monday. day monday is it monday okay. damn i'll have to I use my like sunglasses is it so if I go to Deer Creek, if I get the money and I go to Deer Creek Monday morning, will I be at Deer Creek when the eclipse happens? I think the eclipse is supposed to happen in the evening, isn't it? Or in the afternoon. Isn't See, if it? I go to Deer Creek, I'm staying there all fucking day, man. So going so to if Deer I Creek. There, if, I, if I was by some miracle able to get to Cav here by six fifteen in the morning and I got down to Deer Creek and I was at my spot by seven o'clock in the morning. I'm probably still going to be there at seven o'clock p.m. So, because mm. I'm not going to spend fifty dollars to go down there in a cab and stay a couple hours to come back home. That's just stupid. You know, if I'm going to spend fifty bucks on the trip, I'm going to make a fucking day of. So, are, are you going to stay for there for the whole evening or? Well, I ain't no, I can't stay all night because I'll have to call the cab by like fucking eleven. Being that far out of town, I might have to call them before that. So I, I'd have to call the cab sometime after it got dark. So if because if I wait too, if I wait till eleven o'clock, or even if I wait till ten o'clock, and they've already sent their second driver home, they're not gonna fucking come pick me up. I'm gonna be stuck at Deer Creek until next morning. And the worst part is. <laughs> No, I, I, could, yeah, I, I wouldn't give a fuck about being stuck there as long as I got enough food and fucking drinks to get me through. I wouldn't give a rat's ass. Yep. 
Adventure America, what's up? Welcome to the House of Nuts mm -hmm. and Tacos. Nuts and Tacos. What's up, Gabo? What's up? What's up? What's up, wolves? Down the road, warrior. Roses are red, violets are blue. I go down on my knees and swallow all of you. Oh, Callie, that's so sweet. <laughs> I'll highlight that for everybody, too. Can y'all feel the love tonight? Seriously. Come on now. The only one well, I, I, walk to the reservoir. I could walk to the reservoir, Cameron, but the reservoir sucks balls. But I mean, if if you guys want me to get just get say fuck, fuck trying to get money and go to a good place and just go to the reservoir, then I'll I'll just say fuck trying to go to a good place and I'll go to the reservoir. What y'all want me to do, man? You know, I'm not gonna change who I am, but I will fish where y'all want me to fucking fish at. I ain't I don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah Dabo, but, do what's easiest for you, man. Don't ever tell me to fucking quit smoking and quit cussing and quit sticking up for other people and stuff like that. And I'll fish wherever the fuck you want me to fish at. <laughs> huh. so I, mean, I still don't know if there ain't no big fish in that reservoir. It's just. Dude, I put my time in there, man. You know, and, and I know how to fish a lake. If it was a river, I'd be like, man, can somebody help me out with this? But it's a lake. I know how to fish lakes. You know what I mean? And I just don't see a big fish being in there. I would have caught the son of a bitch by now. At least I at least would have hooked onto it. You know what I mean? But I have caught that that was nine and a half pound channel and uh caught a five pound walleye. Maria caught a five pound largemouth. I think that's our top fish from back that here. Was their, that was my first fish That was our yeah, it was our first yeah. fish ever from that reservoir, and that was in fucking December. Cold as shit back here. Fishing in December, because that's when my sister finally decided to bring my fucking fishing poles to me. So we went fishing. <laughs> and caught a fucking five-pound largemouth on night crawler in December. Back here at the Rizzo Bowl. Was that in that live stream? Oh, we weren't live then. We hadn't, we hadn't even, you guys hadn't even seen us on YouTube at that point. Okay. You hadn't even seen us in a chat yet. Back in those days. Yeah, that, there wasn't no picture taken. Wasn't no, uh, wasn't no video of it. Same way with my five pound walleye back here. It was just me and Bill. That was the only witness I had. Oh, hell, Dabo. If it didn't happen on camera, it didn't happen at all. Right. I, actually, it, it was four people back there Bill, yourself, or Bill. There's so, uh, me, myself, and I. <laughs> witnesses right there. Four witnesses, actually. Yeeper. Don't beg Chris. All right, brother. Yeah, my phone. My phone is nearly down to um. It's twenty-seven percent. So if it gets any lower, you don't have a charging then block. Then I'm gonna have to go get my charger and plug it into some outlet up here. So you still don't have a fucking portable charging block. You don't ever plan on going live outside your house, D. Not really. Yep, that's definitely not an outdoor channel, yo. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Who, who went? Um, Every 4th of July, who showed the fireworks off? Could, could, could be um, Road Warrior now, could it? Different. That's not live. <laughs> That's different, huh? Okay. You only go live from one room. 
That's true, too. And not very many people know where that room is. But you only get live from one room. Well, they kind of do. Make, we'll make an outdoor video. You'll even fucking call us video chat from the car from fucking Michigan. But you won't go live outside of that room. <laughs> <laughs> That's like your, your, uh, who's that, uh, Who's that painting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that's like Linus's blanket. Yeah. That's your Ooh. Linus blanket down there. He's a peanut. You don't know nothing about them. The peanut in the comics? Yeah, Charlie Brown. Yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah. Charlie Brown's best friend, Linus. Yeah, his best friend Linus always had his blanket with him. Couldn't do shit without oh, that. Oh that dude. Okay, I remember, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that room is your blanket. <laughs> that's your, one that's of these, your blanket. One of these days, um, when I get enough uh, money to... Uh, Everyone said, when's the last time you left the house besides go to work? I'm in uh, bed. I ain't got nothing but shorts on, Ashley, so we're close enough. Come on up. <laughs> Hey, I'll be ready to take her nightgown off. She'll be in that with underwear. <laughs> hey, Willie, the less the you better. Here, right? me and I might be able to slip her hand down. So. Willie, the less clothing, the better, right? <laughs> yeah, you got to get her cold. That's the key road where you got to get them fucking freezing their ass off. And then you get all your clothes off, warm them up. You know, body body heat, you warm each other up. And once you do that, then, you know, they feel something poking. They're like, what's that? Actually, oh. I, actually, Willie, I did do a video that that was outside of that room. Yeah, you did videos. I'm, we're saying you ain't never done live outside that room. Well, well, that's a, that, that's where my PC is. And if you guys, <laughs> want, if you guys want best quality of life, I'm not on my PC then, right now. I'm I'm never on my PC when I'm when I'm live. It's always the phone. I don't, I don't have a PC. I got a laptop POS. <laughs> really old. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a PC. I got a POS. Yep. A fucking twenty-four year old fucking laptop notebook POS. I can't. I can't wait until Sunday afternoon when my younger brother installs that um that router in, so I can. So I can. Uh, so he's not gonna be back till Sunday to hook it up. Nope. So he's over. He's over plugging something else in for Saturday, huh? <laughs> no. He's gonna be an uncle again soon. I I don't think my younger brother um my younger brother is doing that. If he is, yep, you're gonna be an uncle again soon. He's gonna have a kid before you before you do. <laughs> Unless you run out and adopt one real quick. Hey. My baby had been adopted for nine months. This girl, yeah. <coughs> Who else Ashley, wants to what's come up? up here? Well, I'll tell you what's up. Man. Turkey, what's up? Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? See, Turkey deleted his YouTube account a while back, and uh, we never did. We never did take that fucking command out of night bot. Though he come back, and there it is. Boom. By the way, why did Wild Turkey delete his YouTube channel? Because he's he was just tired of YouTube. He was just bullshit. tired of all the drama and shit. Yeah. Well, sometimes I'm tired of it, but you know. same reason a lot of other people took breaks. Yep, same reason we gotta take breaks sometimes. Sometimes when road warrior takes a long break, I know. Actually, get your ass up here, seriously. Come on, I'm not that scary. Well, uh, you know, Willie, right now, right now, um, I'm on a live stream outside of that room. 
Hell yeah. In fact, I'm right now in the living room. Uh, with a blanket. That's going to be your channel? That is correct. Hell yeah. Well, I can do that. Yeah, that's uh, that's three to five my time, and then I believe five to five to eight y'all's time. Yeah. And then, um, Dabo, were you in Hog Legs live on Thursday? No. Okay. So. I have got a fish catfishing tournament planned up for June 15th through the 20th. Um, it's going to be five teams of two. Pretty much any catfish, as long as it's a uh, blue channel or flathead. Five yeah, pounds or larger. Most amount of weight wins. Hell yeah. Three dollars and fifty cents, Maria. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. More camera bitching because it's almost three dollars. There, shit. We creeping up on four up here. <laughs> Heck, I, I think uh, I, I think I saw it um somewhere here in India where it was five. I believe it's like fucking six or seven out toward Cali. I think. Well, makes sense. <laughs> he said, fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah we sure. used to that shit up here, Cameron. Fucking used to it, man. They're, they're getting it out of Alaska, so we're closer to it than fucking New Mexico is, and we pay more for it. Mm. So Ashley isn't going to gear up here? Yep, jacked it up because of the eclipse, just like it do for the holidays. I don't know. She said she was half naked, not all naked. But I mean, she could turn the camera off like the rest of us. Well, you know, it's promotional and educational. Yeah, educational <laughs> and informative. <laughs> just saying. If y'all like see any like naked that. titties on my stream tonight, it's for educational purposes. <laughs> there, I've already taken care of it. <laughs> We're covered now. <laughs> it's not like three guys are up here, you know. <laughs> right. I mean, this big old sausage fest up here, so I mean that's not gonna look good, but it's educational, I promise. Catfish canoe is low, low on gas. Got a fuel up before next fish. Who the hell got a motor on their canoe, camera? <laughs> yeah, jeez, why use a paddle when you can use well, a? Um, well, I mean, well, think paddle. about it, man. If, if you only weighed eighty pounds, you try that shit too. You know, if you use a little skinny fucker like him, you know you can add more weight to that kayak. So you might as well slap a motor on it or that canoe. Now, my my big ass, you know, the canoe ain't gonna hold me, let alone me and a fucking motor. Nope. And if it does, just barely stay above water with both of us on there. What's going to happen when I hook a big fish? Yeah, it's all she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Dabo, they do make canoes and kayaks that have motors on them for us big folks. I know, but I still don't trust them, motherfuckers. <laughs> Same. I just can't do it, man. I like, I like my bank fishing. <laughs> Like feeling the ground under my feet. Bank fishing's fun and all, but heck fire, I'd rather have a boat. That way I can get out to where the fish really are. <laughs> right. You know, and I mean, right I, I would, I'd like to do that sometimes, but I mean, I'd rather just use big old fucking monstrous fucking bait caster reel and a little 
little electric radio control boat and just drive shit out there a couple hundred fucking yards and drop it off. Yeah. Middle of fucking nowhere. But I mean, I don't have like the Great Lakes around me. You know, I don't have nothing I can't see the other side of. So I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't take a whole lot to get to the middle of anywhere I could fish at. Hirihito, what's up? And Ashley said she's on a call with her sexy man right now. Ashley said she's getting fu phone fucked right now. Um, <laughs> well, maybe after that. Well, y'all, I'm going to hop out of here and probably try and get some sleep. All right, brother. I'm probably, um, I'm, I'm, I'm probably, uh, probably going to be staying up here until the parents come home, and then I'll probably be going down and, uh, watch movies till late in the night. You can watch movies without, without internet? Oh, yeah. Oh. If, it, if it's DVD version. Oh. How much porn you got on DVD? When do you like to know? <laughs> I'm joking. I, I'm I not watching it. it. I used to have no. a lot of collection, but I sold it. Yep. No, I'll probably be watching like, uh, you know, like Jurassic World or Jurassic Park or something like that. Or oh, yeah. Be watching, you know. And I'm using my Xbox One as a DVD player, so... Right. Yeah, mine used to do that. I don't do that anymore. What is yours? What What is the reason for yours? They just quit reading discs altogether. Both of them do. Mm -hmm. I could probably get the Xbox 360 out, but we've got we've got a DVD player and a Blu-ray player. So. Well, but if I had to, I could get the 360 out and it it play mm -hmm. DVD. Well, the parents are home, so I'm probably going to hop down. All right. So I'll probably talk to you well, sometime. So. Okay? Yep. Okay. Peace out. Bye, everybody. Yep. I'm about to play around a bit. Yeah, I kind of figured that's it. I can keep this short tonight, y'all. I just want to come on, you know, touch base on a couple things and let y'all know what I'm trying to do, you know. And uh, so uh, tomorrow I've got fucking wrestling pay per view starting at noon, going clear to fucking midnight. So y'all ain't going to see me tomorrow. If you see me, it's Sunday. It's going to be before the second part of WrestleMania. So it'll be before seven. If you see me Sunday and the only way you're going to see me is if a miracle happens and, uh, someone sends us the money I need to make this trip that I'm trying to make. So, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay live a few more minutes. Um, See if anybody wants to talk about anything or whatever. But, yeah, that's I, I pretty much covered what I mainly want to do. Let you all know what's what's up. And, uh, wanted to get some support for uh, Playboy the Beast. And uh, I checked, uh, checked the lake levels earlier for Deer Creek. And it is filling up, if I'm reading news right. It wasn't full, full, but it's going to be close. If I wait till Monday, it should be good. Um, so I'll have plenty of options of where to fish at. You know, I should have plenty of options of where to fish at. kind of thinking about the backwater but if i fish the backwater the calves gonna have to take me to deer creek it's gonna have to take me to frosties and then back down there to the backwater and i'm not sure if they'll charge me extra for that well i already knew they were gonna charge me extra for the stop the frosties so. but it's it's actually a couple miles down the road so it just depends on what which cab driver it is i think 
Uh oh yeah, Cameron. Oh yeah. If I can, I mean, wh wherever I end up fishing at, man. I mean, I'll go to the fucking reservoir if I have to, but I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna stay up there as long as I would have stayed at Deer Creek. But uh, if if it comes down to it, I'll just go to the fucking reservoir. But uh, yeah, I'm. I always got small rods and big rods. Always got you know different ones. Yeah. Cause I mean I could just go below the spillway and we catch some saw guy and maybe a channel cat or a crappie, or I can go to the main lake and we got a shot of a big fucking carp. I mean there's, there's big carp down there below the spillway too, but in lake we got a shot of a big carp, a big fucking uh, drum, buffalo, fucking catfish, bass. Yeah, I mean you got a shot at those anywhere on the lake, even the, the, below the spillway, but. I feel like you're gonna have better chances of catching big fish like that on the lake side. Cause I don't, I'm not sure how how well the fish survive coming through there. There has been a 49 or something like that pound shovel head was caught down there below the spillway way back in the early 90s, probably before 95. And uh, dude caught it on a fucking trot line there, and the the game warden was actually watching him from the top of the dam. Watched him pull it in on trot line. He met up with him down at Frosty's when he was getting it weighed in, certified. So, dude, you know, dude lost his shit on that, um, which was stupid. You know, you can't have a trot line within 500 feet of a dam. And he was right fucking there with it. So, he probably snagged the damn fish anyway. Uh, Not right at the moment, Turkey, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'll smoke one with you before we shut her down there, brother. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'll even turn my fucking cam on for y'all. Fucking computer still updating or whatever the fuck it's doing. So I don't know if it's going to come back to life or not. So I can check, see what's going on with my damn uh, Twitch. Because I thought I had my Twitch already set up to where uh, my video stayed up for like two weeks, but they're not. As soon as I as soon as I shut off, it, it it's gone. Poof. I don't know what the deal is. Jeffrey's back. She said sorry. I was looking for parts. Jeffrey. Cameron said I like the flowing water. The guys who do great on the lakes here drag and drift for the catfish. Right. And even out in the lake, there's an undercurrent. But are you talking about moving water like below the spillway where it's always running like a river? Because, I mean, I can go down there. I, that's that's one of my favorite spots, and that's because uh, just about every time me and Mom fished Deer Creek, that's where it was. We either fished there or we fished uh, down beside the beach or at the beach. Which I tell you what, that that might not be a bad place to fucking think about the beach before it opens. But I don't know. It's it's Seventy two. Well, yeah, the water still got to be too fucking cold for people to fuck with. You think, huh? I said spillway. Spillway, yeah, where it's run, running water, yeah. You listen, Jeffrey. I got you, brother. I don't know. I had eleven people in here, man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't talk about making a short one because of that. But we are down to like six hours of stream yards left, and uh, I got, I got, I'm still gonna have to go live again, take one more shot at getting some donos, see if uh, I can make this happen. Cameron yeah. said, "You know the water over there better. You'll make the right call." Right. Yeah, yeah. That's, I grew up at Deer Creek, man. I know that place. I haven't got nothing really to brag about out of there, but I've caught a lot of the, a lot of fish. And I've seen some fucking monsters. You know, I helped net a 52 pound fucking buffalo cart out of there. Dude caught on a fucking uh, tube jig one spring. I can't even say spring. It was February. It was cold as shit. Thought Sherry sure snagged and it was hooked right in the fucking mouth. Blew my mind.
damn turkey. So how did they fucking x-ray and shit and said nothing wrong with it? And now you've been home for a couple of days and it's worse than it was when you went to the goddamn doctor. That's fucked up. You tried ice or heat or anything like that? I mean, I know it's way different, but when my when my kidney stones are hurting me, man, I feel that pain in my side. I can take I can take ibuprofen and it ain't gonna touch it. I can put a heating pad on it and it ain't gonna touch it. But if I get in a bathtub with straight fucking hot water, and I mean it fucking it's hot, boy. The rest of my body's fucking cussing me. But once I can get that up to that spot, it's instantly pain fucking eases up. Instantly. You know, when I when it's bad, bad, you know, that only that only lasts until I get out of that hot water or until the water cools off. But it does take away take pain away. That's why I was in the bathtub last night on Road Warriors stream. Well, I was live too, but that was Road Warriors live that I was taking back and off of last night. And that's the reason I, that I ended up in the tub was because my fucking kidney stones were fucking me up. Now, weather always plays with arthritis too. You got to take that into yeah. factor. Rain can fuck with your shit with arthritis. Make you have pains. Only thing, so, only place I could possibly have arthritis that I can think of would be my hands and my shoulders. I've got it in my hips. I don't even know how yeah. that happens. At least that's what they told me. But you can huck about too many times already. Probably is your fault. <laughs> Always my fault. Whatever. That's always the other way around, my word. Right. Uh, did they try to give you anything? Like Tylenol arthritis or anything like that. Maria's got a bunch of that she doesn't take. Actually, I don't have any more of this. Old goddamn bottle of them sitting right there behind that post uh, on the table. I could probably get me one too. Yep. She said, I don't even know if I have any more of this. I'm like, there's a big mm -hmm. fucking bottle sitting right there. It's, uh, I can see it. If I lean back, it's right behind that fucking corner post of his fucking bed over there. Chopped my shin with a hatchet years ago. It sore when, it gets sore cold. when it's yeah. cold. Damn. What the fuck, Cameron? How? Fuck, man. Why would you do that? I would imagine he didn't do it. You gotta make a video telling people about that. <laughs> That'll get some views. What not to do with a hatchet. <laughs> Turkey said yes, they gave you medicine for it. See, my, I should call my fucking fishing, fishing streams how not to catch fish. Especially when I'm crappie fishing, because God, I miss a lot of those motherfucking boys. And that's not the only reason I try to buy fucking five or six dozen minnows every time I'm at Deer Creek. I try to buy five or six dozen minnows every time I'm at Deer Creek because I don't know when the fuck I'm going to get back to Deer Creek. And that's the only place I can get the minnows. And once I get them, I'm going to catch whatever at Deer Creek on the minnows. And then if I come back to the park, I'm going to tear up some cropping, possibly a channel cat, possibly a bass, like y'all already seen this year. Or I can take them to the creek. And I can catch a crappie or a bass or a catfish. He said it was a straight ricochet off the log making wood furniture. Making wood furniture. So you were just like chopping it up like firewood and piecing it together. Most people use a saw when they're going to cut something down for furniture. Well, maybe they had to get it down to a certain size first. I don't know what he was making. You grew up Amish too, didn't you? You just didn't tell us. <laughs> That's what it is. 
No, I'm telling you, he's Jesse Pinkman, man. That's one of the fucking, one of the injuries they didn't show. <coughs> Probably something they didn't show us to happen to him at some point in that show. Yeah, they showed him in wood class. Yep. Probably when he was in wood class, somebody fucking probably <laughs> hit him with a fucking hatchet. <laughs> Fingernails were out of hand. He said, yep, I've got all sorts of love furniture at my place. Do you still use a hatchet or did you upgrade to a chainsaw finally? Living in an Amish Cameron Dice. Why don't you make any videos of that shit, man? You just go out in the woods and put a log on your shoulder, drag that bitch back to the house, chop it up, make a chair out of it. He was using the hatchet to take off tree bark. Oh, yeah. Now that makes sense. Yep. I think I'd leave the bark on the next one. He said, oh, man, can't have y'all thinking I'm too cool. <laughs> He's got another channel for that shit, y'all. He don't want to tell us about it. He said, man, I don't want y'all coming over and poisoning that channel. God damn. He probably already monetized, got like 50,000 subscribers and shit. Belly. What? This is funny watching you do it. My belly. <laughs> Computer's really starting to get me worried, man. Keep saying it's done, but it's not doing anything. It's doing different shit. That says cleaning up. Yeah, been cleaning. It's been on that for a while now. Wow, wow. We're at fifty-three, so we'll drag this fucker out to a full hour. Yeah. I call people rookies if they don't get live for two hours, but you know, it happens. And I mean, I may, I may change my mind because I, I will, I know I will have like probably two or three hours, probably three hours between the NXT pay per view and the, and the the big one, the WrestleMania. So I mean, I might squeeze one in there. But we're getting low on fucking hours too, man. Once I shut this down, I'm going to have like fucking five hours left. And I don't get them back until... When the fuck do I get mine back? I might get mine back on the 8th. Yeah, I get mine back Monday. I just don't know what time Monday. So, I mean, I could always, if I do fucking by some miracle, make it out there where I'm trying to go to Deer Creek. I could always go live on YouTube first if I have to, if my stream yard drivers haven't hit yet. And I could always switch it over. You know. Oh, I'm sure he understands, Turkey. We were, you, were, you were built small. You're supposed to have a small body. We big boned. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. I carry it around all right, Turkey. I mean, it, when it gets too far out of my out of hand, dude, my back lets me know. But I only weighed three oh two at the doctor yesterday, so I'm doing bad. I'm not I'm not near as bad off as I thought I was, but it's still bad enough. 
I'll lose about I'll lose about fucking twelve pounds in the next fucking month, and maybe a few more throughout the rest of the summer. I'll, I'll get down two ninety or less. And I'll be all right. If I could just keep it off this coming winter, man, it would be beautiful. That's the hard part. Once I get moving, when the weather breaks, it, it comes off, you know. But keeping it off during the during the fucking winter time when I can't do shit is rough, man. Nope, not my six hundred pound life yet, Nate. I'm only halfway there. I've done told people, man, if I ever get to that point, I got to ride that fucking electric car around fucking Walmart, man, just fucking shooting. You know, if I'm legitimately fucking crippled for some other reason or right. whatever, I you know, thing, you I'll be in my own fucking car. No but if shit, I'm too fat to walk shit. around the store and get my own shit, then they're going to have to deliver it to my fucking door or I just ain't going to get it. Big Matt, what's up? Yeah, man, I'm I'm too active. I'm too too active of a fucking person. When I, when I gain weight like I did this winter, man, it's, it's fucking depression. It's fucking, and I get depressed when it's cold out. You know, I'm depressed right fucking now. But I know good good weather's coming. You know, it's going to be decent weather Sunday actually. But I'm trying to wait till Monday for two reasons: one, WrestleMania, duh. And two is it's going to be 72 degrees on Monday. You know, it's like way better than any of the other days. You know, it's going to be 69 <laughs> on Tuesday, but it's also a chance, bigger chance of rain. <laughs> Run and eat healthy. If you don't, I will get, if I don't, I'll get a belly too. Yep. It's going to take you a long time to get a belly like this, Turkey. Long time. There's a lot of hot dogs and bologna and bacon in there, buddy. And a lot of non-exercising. <clears throat> you can sit in the swing. Maria can take care of you and suck yourself. Wee wee. <laughs> oh, shit. Wild turkey, have you ever drank wild turkey? I asked him that question a long, long time ago. Said, what's up? Texas down under what's up? Holy shit. Laptop just woke up. Hi. Our kids back when they were still cute. I'm just kidding. If you guys ever watch this, I love you. you got your mom's looks. You're all right. <laughs> Cripples need love too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's what I'm saying, Cameron. If if I'm if I'm crippled, you know, if I've if I've been in an accident, got hit by a car, fell off a cliff while I was trying to get to a fishing spot, you know, and broke my fucking back, you know, and I and I'm fucking crippled, you know, I'm I'm gonna go fucking ride around my wheelchair and piss people off all the time because I'm gonna be an angry old bastard, especially if my dick don't work no more, you know, but. If I just gain so much weight that I can't walk around the store, I man, I ain't gonna be able to fucking live with myself, dude. Ain't no fucking way. I'll pay somebody to shoot me. You know? Somebody just grab a pillow, get it over with. Dude, I was crying I was just I was crying, dude. Just fucking a few weeks ago, man, when I was trying to get just to get to the park to go. Because I was getting up from the fucking lazy boy in there 
and I would walk out here, pull the wagon over to the bed, move about three things out of the wagon, and I had to sit down because my back hurt. And I was like, man, this is some bullshit. And, uh, but once I pushed myself on that trip to the reservoir and shit, I knew, you know, I'm back. It's all good now. We all right. I just had to build the core muscle back up or drop a pound or two or something. And William make it now. <laughs> you go up there and roll around store. <laughs> No shit, camera? Damn. I can imagine, dude. I'm going to get myself into that one of these fucking days. You know? That's going to happen to me one of these days. Marie's not going to be able to go. And she's going to keep telling me, I'm not going to stop you from going. Just go ahead and go. And I'm going to be like, fuck it. And I'm going to go to this fucking place that we ain't never been before or whatever. And I'm going to fall off goddamn cliff. Trying to get down to a fucking fishing hole. You know, be laying there for a couple of days before they find me. Done ate all my goddamn bait. Be like, you motherfuckers could have showed up before I ate the chubs, you motherfuckers. God damn. Took me four fucking days to catch that bait, and I had to eat every bit of it because you slow bastards. Because I'm already, you know, I'm already going to know at that point. Yeah, I'm fucked up, you know. I'm already going to be an asshole by the time I show up. They're going to just, they'll probably just drop my fucking cripple ass back in the water. Watch me drown after that. Be like, fuck this motherfucker. We found him in the river. Bloop. <laughs> yeah, done ate all the fucking bait. Then I ate my sandwiches the first fucking you, you day. You should lighter have toasted fish. Yep. Yep. I was sticking my fucking chubs on a fucking stick and roasting them with a fucking bick. Live chubs roasting on an open fire. Guts and all, man. Fried sushi. Flame roasted sushi. Hell yeah, turkey. Fuck them bitches. We ain't afraid of no ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. You're yeah, ghost? I ain't afraid of no ghost. Fuck, we done past that hour mark I said I was going to shut down at. We're at 103, but this is still burning, so it's all good. We'll get it till I put it up. <coughs> but yeah, man, the, the, the song 1776, man, is what I started, uh, what I was talking about at the very beginning of the show. The song 1776 by a dude named Playboy the Beast. It's fucking awesome. I never heard of him until he dissed Tom McDonald and I had to check it out. I think uh, Hillbilly Reacts got my attention with it. And then I've, I went, I, I've been checking out his older stuff since then. You know, I loved his diss tracks. So I went and checked out his older stuff. It's fucking badass. A lot of patriotic music. You know, he's a real patriotic dude. Fucking awesome. He's speaking the truth. About the bullshit, about them pulling the sheep over our fucking eyes and shit, you know what I mean? And uh, so he just dropped this song, 1776, the other day. It was climbing the fucking charts, and all of a sudden, a uh, fucking SPLU or whatever the fuck it is. I can't remember the letters. Uh, they fucking banned the song saying that it was uh, part of a fucking hate group, violence group, some bullshit. And uh, because of firearms, and there was absolutely no firearms. The video has been shared. It's on my community tab. You go check it out. You tell me where you see some fucking guns in that fucking video. And uh, 
But uh, it, it's bullshit, man. It's discrimination. They're fucking discriminating because they don't like to hear the fucking truth. He's saying, you know, we need a 1776 is what we need again, you know. And I agree 100 fucking percent. Is that it, Jeffrey? Or is that a live? That's a live. Who's that? Right, Cameron? I don't have one of them, oh, Cam, so I got to. That's for Jeffrey. He said I, 840 live at my channel. 840. Well, you late as fuck, man, because it's 1111. <laughs> so you mean 1140. That's a long ass ways away. What the fuck you set that far out for? Jesus, Pete's, man. Might burn up another hour. I guess I'm going to stay here for a while longer, y'all. Right, Cameron? You said Turkey was smart for taking that break off the tee. Right? Oh, yeah, you guys have seen me have to do it too, man. At one point, I disappeared for like two months down there. You know, and then I came back fucking re energized, re fucking. Refocused, reloaded, re-innovated, Big refreshed. Said, You're off, Willie. It's only 10 11. <laughs> the only right time is East Coast, all right? <laughs> I don't know what the hell the rest of y'all was thinking when you started heading west. Oh, well, it's earlier than it was over there. No, it's still the same fucking time. Y'all just decided to make it all difficult. The only right time is East Coast. We, we're the only ones got it right. So... It ain't my fault y'all got your clocks fucked up. Now it's 11 12. Laptop is awake. No, so. Yeah, it's always 420 somewhere. All right, we're going to see if we can. What this thing's gonna do now? It's back. It's awake. I guess it's updated, cleaned up. All that bunch of shit should be good to go. You think, would you? Streamlabs OBS is still on here. I need to get that motherfucker off here because it's not even strong enough to run it. OBS Studio and fucking OBS Streamlabs both fucking sitting there. Get that shit off here. I wish I could remember how to do shit on here, man. I wish I uh, could remember how to fucking uh, do everything on this computer, man, but I don't. Huh? 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 Yep, that's the truth, Cameron. And and Turkey, man, I understand completely, man. I mean, not to the same extent, for sure. I'm not going to say that. But, dude, just, just the other day, man, I was standing out here in the front yard waiting for the fucking mail lady to finish putting mail in mailboxes, you know. And all of a sudden... It started running through my head all the fucking situations I was in and all, all 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 the years of my life when I should have just beat the fucking living hell out of somebody and just been done with it. 
but I didn't do it. And I'm going to regret that shit till the, till the day I fucking die, man. And, and, dude, I got a list of them, man. Matter of fact, my brother-in-law made the list like four times. Yeah, he made the list four different fucking times, y'all. On, on situations that I should have just beat the living hell out of the other person. My brother-in-law was on that list four fucking times. That's how much of a piece of shit he is. The only way he was able to fucking make the list four fucking times is because my dumb ass sister stayed with him. So to, to see my sister, I had to tolerate him. So, you know, No, it's not. I should have done a turkey. No, when when I when I when I can sit here and tell you on my kids' life that these that these at this moment in time, these people should have been punished and I mean punished severely. You know, and I'm not lying to you, man, when when I say that. I got a list. I got a list of moments that I should have fucking crippled somebody. I should have broken half the bones in their fucking body before I stopped. You know, because if I would have done that, they might they might not have been such a fucking asshole the rest of their life. You know. Paranormal, what's up? Yeah, pull it out and throw it with a right hook, Cameron. Damn straight. <laughs> throw it with a Tyson uppercut. <laughs> she getting rough for now. She getting rough for. Oh, I'm too old to do it now, Turkey. That's why I regret it already. You know, I already missed that boat, man. For one, my fucking brother-in-law's had heart surgery since then, so everybody's kissed his ass ever since then. You know, but everybody wanted to suck his dick because he was, oh, he's having heart surgery. Oh, poor him. Oh. You know, so, you know, it's too late. I missed the boat, you know. That's why I said, you know, it's shit that I'm going to regret the rest of my life. And some of these people are dead already, dude. Some of them done died of drug overdoses or fucking got stabbed in the heart at a gas station because they stole somebody's phone charger. And that's not, that's not even a fucking joke, man. One of them that made that list and I did beat the fuck out of this dude, but I didn't do it good enough. You know, his name was Oscar Gonzalez. And went and he's dead now because he stole someone's phone charger out of their car at a gas station in Wilmington and he got stabbed in the heart by the person he stole it from. And died, bled to death right there at the fucking gas station. And see, maybe if I would have just beat on him for a few more minutes, maybe he wouldn't have been dumb enough to fucking do that. You know? But
<laughs> Hell yeah, Ken. Oh, that, that's what they say. Yeah, you know, I've, I've heard that a lot, Pete. And you know, that's just another one of the things that I, the reasons I can't believe, brother. You know, I've watched the good die young. I watched too many people die of a horrible fucking death. And I watched too many fucking pieces of shit just keep on going. You know? If heaven and hell are real, they're, too far, they're, they're just too far away, man. I mean, you know. And maybe this is hell. Maybe that's why we're watching the good ones die before their time, before we think they should. Maybe he, you know, maybe there is a heaven and a hell and God's taking them out once. You know, he's like, they paid their dues. They don't need no more of this shit. Get them out of there. You know? And maybe the rest of us, we're just sitting in hell waiting for a fucking, waiting to be fucking uh, upgraded. We're down here at the fucking West End waiting to get up to the fucking Hampton. <laughs> Don't throw it on someone else. Ah, damn it. You take fun out of everything, Dad. Oh, it is. It is paranormal. Yes, sir. <coughs> Hell of a list, man. And it's just got bigger since it got on YouTube. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I've, I've met people and shook their hand when I and I, and I should have just punched them in the mouth, but I didn't know it till afterwards. Still a missed opportunity, you know. Finally done with that one, Jesus. That's one thing about when you roll them up for the second time, third time. They keep going and going and going and going. <laughs> so what are you guys doing? Right, Turkey? And I tell you what, if I ever do meet him, if I do meet a God and he's real, and I'm, dude, I'm going to have lots of questions. But if you ain't got no answers, just send me back to the shithole I came from. Fuck it. You know? <laughs> if heaven ain't a lot like Dixie, I don't want to go. If heaven ain't a lot like Dixie, I just soon stay home. Because, I mean, there's places here on earth that I do absolutely consider hell. And our, and our fucking uh, piece of shit government. You know, but there, there's some places that on, on this planet that I have to believe would resemble close to what heaven would be. You know what I'm saying? There, there's some places on this earth that are just absolutely fucking gorgeous. You know, and that, that has to be. If there is a heaven, that has to be what it looks like. And if that's not what it fucking looks like, then I'm good. And I'll just keep standing here, keep fighting, and whatever happens, happens, man. You know? Yep, prop me up. Beside the jukebox, if I die, Lord, I want to go to heaven, but I don't want to go tonight. 
Fill my boots up with sand, put a stiff drink in my hand, prop me up beside the jukebox if I die. I heard you was. It's funny. I think it was a spider baby in the, in the group chat was talking about Alan Jackson. Somebody's talking about they liked Alan Jackson too. And uh, once the only, yeah, only one song popped into my head, and it was uh, I damn, I just had it. Lip sync that. Do that one on TikTok. Prop me upside jukebox. Man, some of them I might sound better than the artist. I mean, I ain't saying I would on that one, but I'm trying to remember, man. I just had that fucking Alan Jackson song on my fucking head, too. Uh, <laughs> fuck, no, I don't believe the fucking lost it. Damn. Yep, that's it. Yeah, there's a few songs I want to sing, sing on TikTok, man. I wish I could. I wish I had the fucking the equipment or whatnot to fucking uh, put my voice and the music together. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have no fucking. I don't have none of that shit. But uh, so I just got to do it acapella. What was we? I was talking about a song the other day, babe. And it had it was just like a, a, a drum beat. I said, I wonder if I could do this on a on a bucket and do it on TikTok. Remember? Remember me asking? Well, oh, gotta eat some uh, Lucky Charms, so I gotta turn the camera off now. Unless y'all want a mukbang, y'all want a mukbang? Yeah, I, can't, I can't remember right. Y'all want to remember you asked me. You want to, you want a Willie, a shirtless Willie in bed eating uh, Bucky Charms mukbang? The camera said we don't care. All right, this is now mukbang, y'all. We still got uh, about 10, 12 minutes before uh, Jeffrey's. Uh, 11.40 live stream. 11.40. Right time. My time. Seen it all on here, right? Seen, you definitely seen worse on fucking YouTube, ain't you? Well, some good news discovered today, though. I don't want to forget about this. I went into my, I was on my YouTube, on my phone, my my homepage and shit, you know, my, where my, my all my videos and my community tab and everything is. I went to my community tab to see if I had shared out 1776 after I had read the thing that I, I was telling y'all about. And uh, I was scrolling down through it, and I posted two videos a while back. I, I shared two videos a while back. And I said, my channel gets age-restricted, but this is fine on one of them. And then I sent, I shared another one just like it, and I said, yep. And uh, had some comments on them and everything. Y'all, some A bunch of y'all seen that shit. Those videos are no longer on fucking YouTube. They gone, baby. I got to him and said, this, this video is no longer available. So, I'm making him look it up, motherfuckers, too. You know, if they're, they're going to fucking get me for doing nothing. I'm going to point out shit that I don't think should fucking be on here either. Fuck these motherfuckers, man. Know what I mean?
man, I forgot how good this shit was. Fuck. This is almost like a food review, man, because I ain't had this shit in years. Before Rattle Relaxing revealed himself, Peak of Otter put that in the chat. Apparently, I. <laughs> relaxing, what's up? This is uh, Lucky Charms, Turkey. Me, Lucky Charms. What? Can't hold it down there because I drip milk all over the laptop and that wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah, it does that from time to time. Shitty internet. We're going to be changing that soon. Hopefully. I'm not going to keep letting Maria pay $80 a month for the shitty fucking internet we got right now. Uh, yeah, 8499 for this shitty fucking Wi-Fi service we've been getting lately. But until AT&T changes the wiring and shit out here. Damn, Turkey. Bill. Yeah, it's not the best idea when you're trying to lose weight. I told Marie I was going to just going to get a couple bites, and then as soon as she got up, I was like, "Fuck, she's going to open the fucking Lucky Charms, goddamn!" She did. I asked you. She did. Like, I'm gonna open them. I was like, I know. I figured you was. I took more couple bites. I used to, Turkey. I was drinking that shit, dude. You, you might want to read, you might want to fucking read up on that, brother. You talking about the almond milk? I used to drink that shit all the time, dude. Found out it's worse for me than the fucking regular milk. It's worse for me than vitamin D fucking milk. I was drinking almond milk because I can't drink regular milk very yep. much. Yeah, we were getting and almond milk because she can't drink milk. Almond and then, milk and is I not thought, as good for you as they say. Yeah, I thought I was fucking being healthy, you know, drinking healthy. And I was drinking unsweetened almond milk. And you no, know, it's worse. It, dude, it's worse for us than fucking milk is. Uh, yeah, you need, to, you need to check that out, man. I'm not even bullshit. Yep. What's that, Jeffrey? You're live again? Yeah, it's probably Jeffrey's live. Yeah, he's going live in about six minutes. Go. Unless he already decided to get alive, maybe that's why he dropped the link. You want live early? Paranormal said he drinks the red cap one. He drinks the whole milk. Yeah, that's vitamin D. That's we what did I call it. for a while. We switched to percent. Most of my life, I drank vitamin D, man. Still love vitamin D, without a doubt. But uh, the allergies and shit, man. I get so much mucus when I drink fucking milk now. I can't do it. So we dropped down 2%. If we absolutely have to, we'll get skim milk. But I hate fucking skim milk. I ain't gonna lie. I hate it. Might as well mix milk with fucking water and call it skin milk, you know. All right, Jeffrey. Yep, Jeffrey is going to go ahead and go live, yo. So grab that link up that he just put in the chat there. And I will seize y'all over there, all right? And uh, 
like I said, you 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 probably see me some point this weekend because I gotta still try to raise figure out a way to raise some money. But um, I'll see you ever, Jeffries. Y'all be good, be good at it. Love you. See you in a minute. Bye bye.